Hey guys, it's Amber, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel and to a haul video, a specific haul video. This is my quarterly Sensi Club haul. So I have a ton of goodies to share. A lot of them are retired. Uh, if you do not know what Sensi Club is, it is our uh, subscription service that gives you a ton of perks. It's all having to do with our consumable products like wax bars and cleaning products and um, car bars and body hair, the things that you use up. Um, there's a ton of perks to Sensi Club. No extra cost, it's exactly the same cost as um, if you were to get the bars on my regular website or anything else on my regular website. Um, and it's actually cheaper because you can get 10% off with Sensi Club at $30. At $60, you can get a half price item. Shipping is cheaper through Sensi Club um, with $8 shipping, no matter how big your order is, which I find fantastic. Um, and what, oh yeah, my favorite perk. I was like, what are the other perks? Um, if you're not a consultant, one of the perks is you um, earn points for rewards as well. So that is an awesome thing, an incentive program. And then my absolute favorite perk is our Always Get My Bar perk, which allows you to uh, put wax bars in your club. It is only for wax bars that this perk applies. Um, and then once you put the wax bar in your club, if it retires, if it's never heard or seen again um, on for regular purchase, Sensi will still continue to make it for you. Even if you are the only person in the entire world that has it in your club, Sensi will still continue to make it for you. So if you get addicted to certain scents like me, Sensi Club is the way to go. I prefer it um, to stocking up on wax, actually. Um, so um, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm trying to think. Oh, it's completely customizable. Um, you can set it to ship one, two, or three months at a time. Uh, you can go in and edit it whenever you want, um, as long as it's before the day it processes. But even that, you can still go back and edit it. Um, even on the day it processes, it just will be for the following order and not for that order that's coming. Um, there's no extra fees, like I said. You can cancel it whenever you want. Um, yeah, Sensi Club's the best. I love it. It's my favorite. So I got in my quarterly club, which is my like official club. I do like in and out clubs where I will um, get something once to try it out like I did if you guys watched my um, brick sniffs button bar size uh, from the spring bricks that are happening right now. Um, I That was an in and out club because I, I prefer the bars to the bricks personally. And so I wanted to get them in, I wanted the scents, but I wanted to get them in the um, wax bar size. So anyway, so there is, you can do that as well um, just get a one-time order and then cancel the club. Um, but this is the club that is my official, like keep all the time club because it has a bunch of wax that is retired. Um, and I don't want to lose those. So I, I have, this is my official club that I want to share with you. So like I said, there are a ton of bars, actually, I think probably all of them. We'll see. There might be one or two that is still available. But for the most part, these are all retired. Came in the Mylar bag um, with an ice pack because it is starting to get warm here in California. So let me take them all out. That way we're not having to hear the bag crinkling around everywhere. Oh yes, there is one that is still available. Um, so there's one available and the rest are all retired bars. So, um, I'll share the bars and then I'll share what I got for my half price this time around. Uh, so the one that is available for sale right now still, I haven't smelled it yet. I'm excited to smell it. It is from the Peter Pan collection, the Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. This is a brand new bar. Came um, 
out last week or the week before um, with the Tinkerbell Scentsy Buddy and the re-release of the uh, Peter Pan Warmer. So let's see, let's see what it smells like. Peter Pan was one of my kids' favorites when they were little, so. Oh, this is pretty. It smells, it smells like something. What does it smell like? It's very fruity and there's like citrus, like, or pineapple. I can't remember what the notes are. I'm sorry, I should have got them. And then I forgot. But this is really pretty. There's also like a creamy quality to it. I don't know if it says there's like vanilla in it or not. But this is a really nice, sweet, um, citrusy, fruity scent. So it doesn't smell super strong, but it's not um, extremely light either. Probably about a medium. So that is Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. I'm excited to give that one a melt. Okay, now on to the rest of the bars for y'all. I got in a Spiced Ember Glow, which actually you can get, this is retired from the Fall Winter Catalog, but it, there is a special nine dar, dar not dar, nine uh, bar bundle uh, in the clearance section right now, and that includes this bar. So Spiced Ember Glow is one of the bars that is in that nine bar bundle. That's only $30, so you get four bars free, technically. Um, so check that out. My website will be in the description for you. So Spiced Ember Glow is a really, really nice scent. When I saw it in that bundle, I was like, uh-oh, I'm glad I put this in my club because I feel like it's not coming back in the fall and winter. So it was kind of like an, a last miss, minute addition for me to my club before the fall winter bars retired. Um, so when I saw that, I'm happy. I'm happy that I added it. It's a beautiful burgundy color and it actually matches my shirt pretty well. My blue October shirt. I don't know if you, any of you are fans, but I love blue October. Um, this is like a smoked apple, like a smoked baked apple with some spice as well. It's really nice. And when you smell it on cold, it doesn't do it justice. When it melts, it's just a really cozy, um, like I said, smoke, smoky scent, but not overly smoky. It's not like around the campfire, which I love. I do love around the campfire. But if you're sensitive to super smoky, I wouldn't say it's that. It's a, there's like a vanilla in this too. And then like a baked apple. It's really nice. So that is Spiced Ember Glow. Hopefully it does come back, but in case, at least it's in my club. Um, and like I said, you can get it through the nine bar bundle that is in the clearance section right now um, while supplies last. Um, okay, next one is Scarlet Sunflower. This is also retired from the Fall Winter Catalog. I love this one. This is a fall floral through and through, but also with this um, apple to it. And you can tell, you can tell it's fall. It's a fall floral, like a chrysanthemum type of floral, which is usually fallish. And there, the apple in it is almost like a homemade applesauce apple to me. It's like a sweet, golden, delicious. It's so good. And as I've said in the past, I'm very much an apple person. So a lot of these will have apple in them. I just love apple, especially like more fresh type apple scents. So Scarlet Sunflower is in my club. Again, Apple Autumn Road Trip. This is one of my favorites. This one absolutely goes back into my club every time the fall winter catalog ends. Oh, so good. This is a fresh, fresh apple oh, and a fresh pear. And I've said in, in the past, but I'm going to say it again, it is hard 
to get that pear note in a lot of scents when it's mixed with apple. It kind of gets drowned out in my opinion, but it's done really well in this one. You really do get that pear. And then like a, an oak woodsiness. I love it. I love it so much. So that is Autumn Road Trip. Also apple. Okay. I got a frosted vanilla, which was new to the catalog this last fall winter catalog. It was one of my, actually out of all of them, this was probably my favorite from the new ones. It's the only one from the new ones that I did put in my club. Um, although I do feel like it'll come back, but just in case I didn't want a Scentsy heartbreak, which is the whole reason why to have a Scentsy club is so you don't get that Scentsy heartbreak where a scent doesn't come back and then you're like, oh, kicking yourself that you didn't put it in your club. So anyway, so Frosted Vanilla is kind of cooling. It is a sweet vanilla, but not overly cloyingly sweet. And there is like a cooling quality, almost a mintiness to it. And then there's a birch wood to this. So this for me is a perfect winter vanilla fragrance. As you'll see in my club, I have a vanilla for every season. This is my winter season vanilla. So that's frosted vanilla. Next up, this was a brick in the holiday brick collection. It was my favorite, my absolute favorite, and I had to club it, caramel chestnut. This is so good. It is a roasted chestnut with a gooey caramel, but the caramel isn't like overwhelming as some caramel scents can be. It is a very nice balance between those two scents. It's so good, I love it so much. So at the time I was editing my club, this last edit, I was trying to decide between this one and Gimme Candy. Gimme Candy isn't exactly the same, but it's similar. It has the same vibes, except it doesn't have that chestnut note. I decided to go with this one over Gimme Candy, even though I do still really love Gimme Candy. I'm crossing my fingers it will come into the catalog, because um, I know it was one of Scentsy's most popular. Well, I don't know for sure, but from everything I've heard, it was one of Scentsy's most popular uh, fall scents, scents of the month this past year. So. Crossing my fingers, that one comes back. But if not, I at least have caramel chestnuts in my club and I love it. Okay, here is my summer vanilla scent, Vanilla Wave. So this was the most shocking bar for me that did not come back into the spring summer catalog this time around. I put it in my club, even though I thought it would come back this was one of the ones that I'd be like, oh, I'd be devastated if I didn't have it. And so I did put it in my club and thank goodness I did because it did not come back. It's so good. I prefer the wax bar. I prefer this in home fragrance to body care. It is still available in the body care. Um, it, to me, it's too much in the body care, but I love it in the wax bar. It is vanilla, sweet vanilla with um, a caramel um, touch and some sea salt. It reminds me of a, like a vanilla soft swirl, serve that's swirled with caramel syrup and then sprinkled with the sea salt on top. Oh, it's so yummy. So this is my summer vanilla. So that is Vanilla Waves. Next up, one of my all-time favorite bars. This is one that never leaves my club and will never leave my club. It is gives me uh, scent memories from when I was a kid. It is Wassail Wonderland or Wassail Wonderland, however you say it. It was from the Sense of the Season a couple years ago. It comes out every once in a while with the Sense of the Season. Usually this past year it did not. But I had it in my club, so I can melt it all winter. It's so good. I love this scent so much. It is a fresh, zesty orange 
sweet as well mixed with a tiny bit of spice i don't it's not overly spicy to me thankfully and then a sprig of fur needle and it's just an amazing combination i love it so much so that's Wasso wonderland that's one that stays in my club always Next up, I, I feel like this one will probably make it back, but it's another one where I was like, you never know, so I'm going to put it in my club. It is first day of fall. So this one and toasted acorn and oak, I loved both of them, but I ended up loving this one more this past season compared to toasted acorn and oak. So I put this one in this time. And I, I have a feeling Toasted Acorn and Oak isn't coming back either because it is also in that bundle, that nine bar bundle I was talking about. That one's in there as well. Um, so, but like I said, I ended up liking this one better this time around. So even though that makes me kind of sad, I think it'll be fine. So first day of fall is pumpkins and it's like fresh pumpkin, like a pumpkin that you've just like cut, cut open or it's in the pumpkin patch still. And then mixed with nutmeg, which nutmeg is such a unique scent in home fragrance. I usually really like um, a scent if it has nutmeg in it because you don't get it a ton. It has nutmeg, oh, it's so good. I can't remember what the other notes were, but it's like pumpkin and nutmeg spice. And like, I think like crunchy leaves or something like that. Fall air accord type of stuff. It's so good. And yes, I do melt it on the first day of fall. And then other times after that during the fall season. So that's first day of fall. This scent gets dogged on by a lot of people. And I don't understand why. Because I think it is the best out of the four fragrances that came in this collection. I like all four of them, but this was my favorite. And it is Hufflepuff, Harry Potter, the Hogwarts House's Hufflepuff, Justin Loyal. To me, and I don't know if it's just because I am a Hufflepuff and I'm a super bakery fan, I just adore this scent. It's just so good. But I do, I do like all of them. I think they're all great. All four of the Hogwarts House's scents, they're all great. But this is the only one that was club worthy for me. Let me know in the comments if you do like this one. I wonder if because there's honey in this. And honey kind of tends to be a polarizing scent. Hence the like buzzworthy hate from a lot of people, which this is one I like as well as buzzworthy so i'm wondering i'm wondering if that so let me know if you like this scent or not if you've tried it um and not just smelled it on cold um in my opinion from experience you should always give a scent a, a chance you should always warm it even if you're not um sure about it on cold because scents do change when they're melting. All the fragrance oils come together and it gives you the true interpretation of a scent. So if you've tried this and melted it and still didn't like it or did like it, just let me know in the comments because I'm curious. I love it. It's another apple one. It's apple and like a honey and like a cinnamon sugar churro type of smell all mixed together like everything it all had a baby and this is the smell <laughs> that was birthed from that combination oh it's so good so hufflepuff justin loyal that one obviously is not leaving my club since a lot of people seem to not like it okay graduation this is from the moment by moment collection it was in the clearance section for a long long time they recently just updated the clearance section a month or so ago and so it's not there anymore but it's so good this is a very unique type of fragrance it is such a good scent it's like a suede leathery smell mixed with apple again yes apple 
I told you I'm an apple girl. And like a musk, like a, an amber type note. It's really nice. It's very sophisticated. It's beautiful. It's not the strongest performer, but it's good in at least medium spaces. And it is a long lasting one. This one I use in my bedroom and it lasts a good at least five days for me before I start to not be able to smell it. Um, in my open concept downstairs area, I usually change my wax daily because I like to smell different things constantly. But up here in my bedroom, I prefer to have one scent for about a week. So this one fits the bill. It's so good. So graduation, if it does ever come back somehow in clearance again or whatever, highly recommend that one. Okay, next up from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, Halloween Town. I have a feeling this one's not coming back, which makes me sad, which is why I did add it to my club at this last time it was offered. Because I, since they seem to be switching to Nightmare Before Christmas for Christmas instead of Halloween, um, I just feel like this one's probably not coming back. So, and I love this one. I love, I love the other one too, but this is probably my favorite. Oh, I don't love Oogie Boogie. That one, the roll of dice one, no. Not a fan of that one. But I love this one and I love Jack's Obsession. But this is probably my favorite. This is another one where it's not the best smelling on cold, but when it's warming, it's so good. It is like, as I always describe it, a creepy older cousin to winterberry apple tea. It kind of has that same vibe to it. Just a little um, like darker and more mysterious, more Halloween-y. It's got cedar in it. It's got that, um, I think there's plum, something like that. It's so good, I love it. So that is Halloween Town. Next up, this was a scent of the month in December. This past December, fell in love it, with it. It is such a nice scent. It is cinnamon pine cones. I'm crossing my fingers. It does come into the catalog this fall winter season. I feel like this is another one that is a contender for coming into the catalog. It's so nice. It gives you the best like nostalgic, almost like Victorian Christmas type feel when it's melting to me. It has that woodsy pine coney scent. It has cinnamon. The cinnamon is stronger on cold though than when it is melting. It mellows down more. It just gives kind of a warmth and a slight spiciness, but it's not like overwhelmingly red hot cinnamon or anything to my nose. And then it has this evergreen note to it too. It's beautiful. It's so nice. It's such a good scent. This was really a standout scent for me this past winter. It gave me all the holiday nostalgic, like I said, almost like a Victorian uh, Christmas scent that would be melted, you know, in the late 1800s, even though they didn't have wax melts then. But you know, a scent that would be simmering on the stove type of thing to scent their house. So that is cinnamon pine cones. Love it so much. Okay, here is my fall vanilla scent. That is vanilla bourbon. Love vanilla bourbon so much. This came out in the Father's Day collection last year and the year before. The year before was when it was new. It's not a cologne type scent though. It's a total fall vanilla to me. You get that vanilla, you get, this is another one that has nutmeg in it. So again, I'm not surprised I like it. And then you do get, it's not boozy per se, it's more of that bourbon to me, gives me like a warm and cozy type of feel. I love it, it's so nice. So this is my fall vanilla, vanilla bourbon. Next up, my probably favorite licensed wax bar of the past year, that's brand new from this past year. This was another one I was obsessed with. <laughs> so I definitely had to put it in my official club. That is Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked. 
The scent is so amazing. I've heard it is a dupe for the Tom Ford's uh, Lost Cherry Perfume. I haven't tried that yet, but it smells amazing. This to me is cherry done right. I'm not, I'm very picky about cherry. I, it's a similar cherry to the cherry that's in um, Cherry Apple Strudel. So a bright, um, a bright kind of tart cherry is kind of the same cherry you get in this. I'm not into the very, I'm not into the like very sugary, sweet, cloying cherry, um, but I love the brighter, kind of tart type of cherry that's in this. Like I said, it's so good, you guys. I can't remember what the other notes are. I think dark plum, cherry, or black cherry. I think they said it was black cherry. It doesn't smell black cherry to me. Um, and then um, black berries, and then spices, and I think cedar was the other note. Oh, it's so good. Um, we were promised that this is coming back. I don't know if this bar is coming back though, which is why I put it in my club, but the, um, Hocus Pocus, Pocus collection is supposed to be back this year, um, with other new offerings, I guess, or something. That's what Sensi said last year. So hopefully we'll see it again. If we do, and you get a chance, you haven't tried this yet, try it, it's amazing. So, Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked. Next up is Graham Cracker Crunch. This is an amazing scent. This is like a honey-made graham cracker with a peanut butter smeared on it. It sounds like it would be weird as a home fragrance, but it's amazingly delicious. It's so yummy. So that is Graham Cracker Crunch. Hopefully we will see that one again in the fall. Okay, this is my spring vanilla. It is vanilla cream. So this just came out in January in the um, past Bring Back My Bar. Um, this was one of the ones offered and I fell in love with it. It is similar to Simply Vanilla, but to me it's sweeter. It's, it's a s slightly sweeter. I prefer, I've smelled both of them. I don't have Simply Vanilla anymore, but when I did, I did smell both of them and I like this one better. So it's not exactly the same. I know to some people it smells exactly the same to them. It doesn't to me. I, I prefer this one. So that is vanilla cream. It is my spring vanilla scent. Okay, next up, this was from June's Bring Back My Bar last year, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. Blueberry Pancakes. This is the only one I ended up keeping in my club from last June's Bring Back My Bar. Yeah, it is good. It is really good. To me, The for some people, the maple is too strong for them in this one. To me, it's not. I get a, um, I get that pancake bat batter. I get a maple syrup, but not heavy maple. And I get the blueberry in it is like a blueberry. Like you've put the blueberries in the batter while you're cooking the pancake and they heat up and they start to burst. That's the kind of blueberry I get in this. It's really delicious and really cozy. I really like this one. So that's blueberry pancakes. I know that's one that um, there are some people, like I said, if you're sensitive to maple, maybe it smells too mapley for you. To me, it doesn't. Okay, my favorite Christmas tree scent of all time, very snowy spruce. I put this one in just in case. I, I feel like it'll be back, but just in case, I had to at least get one more. I think I have one already. I had to get one more. This is so good. It is um, a sweeter Christmas tree. You get, the, you get the fur, but you also, I think there's cedar in this as well. And then like an amber 
finish to it too. It's, it's so good. I love it so much. There's almost like a smoky quality too. I guess maybe just from the mixture of all the um, evergreen type notes in it, but it's amazing. Cross my fingers it'll be back because I'm not sure if I'll keep that in my club for my next shipment because I don't need a ton of it, but um, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. I have until July now to make decisions and cuts for the, for the next round because I have to wait for Bring Back My Bar if I want to keep any of those from June's Bring Back My Bar that's coming up. So we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions again. Okay, next one. This was my favorite bar of all time from when I started buying Scentsy back in 2007 and it is Lucky in Love. It came back a couple years ago and Bring Back My Bar and I was ecstatic because I didn't have it in club or anything like that. It had been a long time since I'd had it. It is a dupe for Victoria's Secret Love Spell back in the day. And it is really nice. It seemed lighter to me these last few times that I've been melting it. Uh, I, I melted it in the summer, so I haven't melted it recently. But last summer when I was melting it, it seemed lighter to me. Um, so even though it was my all time favorite, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in my club, which that seems like sacrilegious to say, <laughs> because like I said, it was my like all time favorite bar, but mm, we'll see. We'll see. Our noses change and our scent preferences change over time. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what I decide to do, but that's lucky in love. Okay, this was from this past Bring Back My Bar as well, um, as Vanilla Cream was. It is Autumn Blaze Maple. So I love this one. It gives me um, Honey Pear Cider vibes, except with apple. It's really nice. It's not a dupe for Honey Pear Cider or anything, um, but it's the same type of vibe and this one is stronger for me than Honey Pear Cider was, which you can't get that anymore, which is, was like when I smelled this, started melting it, I was like, oh, this gives me Honey Pear Cider vibes. And I don't have that one in my club, so now I have something to replace it. It's really good, it's really cozy. Apple, they're at maple. This one is stronger maple than the maple in Blueberry Pancakes to my nose. It's cozy. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. It's just yummy. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. And then my last bar is Jack's Obsession. This is really nice. This is similar to my nose to, um, now my mind just went blank. Cider Mill, except it's like a green apple cider. Cider Mill is like pumpkins and apples and cider spices except to me that's more apple than pumpkin. This is like green apple cider, but not heavy on the spices, heavier on the apple. Oh, I love it, it's so nice, so good. So that is Jack's Obsession. I feel like we'll see this one back, even if we don't see Halloween Town back. I feel like we'll see this one back, hopefully, but if not, it's safe in my club. So those are all the bars. And then my half price item I got this time around is the washer whiffs in my absolute favorite, Jammy Time. Jammy Time is my favorite laundry scent. If you don't know what washer whiffs are, they are our fragrance boosters. They do not clean the clothes. They just add fragrance to your clothes. And they're um, like a salt consistency rather than the um, boosters you can buy in the store are like more of like a waxy finish. These are like salt consistency. So it melts um, better and quicker and easier. And it just fragrances your clothes amazingly. I love our washer with so much. And like I said, Jammy Time is my favorite in everything I've tried. And I'm happy to say that I finally got one in the new packaging because I've been getting the ones still that were in the old packaging, the old, um, it was just white with the stripe in the middle. 
finally got it in the new packaging and jammy time and it's so cute i love it so that was my half price item so there you go you guys i hope you enjoyed my scentsy club haul i know i enjoy watching others and to see what they end up getting in their club um it's fun to see everyone's um orders and thoughts and opinions on things um so thank you guys so much i appreciate you all and hope that you have a wonderful day until next time ttfn tata -ta for now